Damar Hamlin is alive today because of the quick and excellent response from the medical professionals Monday night on that field. What can you say about their actions and the recognition that they deserve? Well, it's heroic. And, um, you know, people don't understand the preparation and the courage that it takes. Um, they are extraordinary. Um, our NFL people, uh, the people in Cincinnati, all contributed to this um, really great outcome for DeMar and his family and all of us. So we couldn't be more grateful to them. I spent a lot of time talking to them, and I know how much um, it meant to them to have this kind of an outcome. So God bless them all. It is incredible. How about the league's response on that night, the timeline? Take us through that where you decided not to resume the game. Well, it really, uh, first there was a suspension of play um, that Troy Vincent authorized, and we were talking to everyone from the union to the coaches to, to the players uh, and trying to get as much input as possible. Um, obviously, we wanted to focus on the medical care and make sure that that was being handled. Um, and we really felt like uh, we needed to hear from the players, um, and we were comfortable that, that uh, postponement was the right thing. And once we did hear back from them, we told them, and that's what we would move forward with. Ultimately, you decided to cancel the game. Why did you feel it was necessary to come up with the different scenarios for the AFC Championship game and that wild card game? Well, the cancellation of the game was based on the fact that it wasn't going to affect anybody who qualified for the playoffs by playing the game to conclusion. That's number one. Uh, secondarily, when that happens, you now have, of the 14 teams in the playoffs, you have two teams that have inequities. They're, they've only played 16 games versus the 17. And so you, you needed to look at that and try to see if you could address that in some way. And uh, it is not in my authority to do that. I can cancel the game, but I can't do that. And so we went to the competition committee. We focused on this. We had made recommendations to these two, which was the first seed in the AFC, because all three of those teams, Kansas City, Buffalo, and Cincinnati, had an opportunity potentially to host or to be the number one seed. The same in the AFC North, where potentially the Baltimore Ravens or the Cincinnati Bengals could have won. So it was an opportunity to try to look at potential solutions if either one of those occur. The competition committee was particularly focused on the fact Cincinnati and Baltimore play this weekend, and that was an opportunity for them to resolve it on the field, which we thought was a good solution. But also, um, we really felt that the, the neutral site championship game was was the right thing to do to get that the both teams equal opportunity and take away maybe the double the buy and the hosting of the, the championship game. I'm sure you can sense walking in here the love and the support for Demar Hamlin and number three. What can you say about how the league, the NFL, has come together and what has been your message to the family? Well, there were completely supportive. Um, I've been in touch with their parents, uh, DeMar's parents, um, and Mario and Nina, and they're, they are really inspirational to me. Um, they uh, never lost faith, and they were right there. And we just want them to know we'll support them in any way which we can. But I also, going back to your point about this whole circumstance and how it united not just the NFL, but it united this whole country in many ways and inspired this country in so many ways because of DeMar's um, incredible courage and his strength and uh, his recovery. And so we're, we're all blessed by that. Thank you for the time. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, Tracy.